Parade. Fifteen minutes of music in the modern manner, sweet and slow, light and bright, produced for your entertainment by the Director of Public Relations of the Australian Army, featuring Lottie Wilson at the Hammond organ, backed by the On Parade Quintet. In this program, we're going to talk about the 1st Armoured Regiment, of what it did to help the Olympic Games, and also something of its normal functions. But first, let's set the show rolling with a bright number from the boys, El Cumbanchero. <laughs> At the Olympic Village, the 1st Armoured Regiment provided a guard of one officer and 49 men, and their job was to guard the main entrance against unauthorised entry, uh, to patrol the fences surrounding the village, to provide colour parties and to act as fire picket. The guard sergeant on duty when we visited the village was Sergeant P.R. Robbie Roberts, originally of Fife, Scotland, who joined the Australian Regular Army in England. He saw service with the 1st Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment in Korea in 1952, and later transferred to the Royal Australian Armoured Corps. So for Sergeant Roberts, here's Noel Moss to sing I Surrender, Dear. We've played a game of stay away But it cost more than I can pay I may seem proud, I may act gay, it's just a pull, I'm not that way, cause deep down in my heart I say, I surrender dear, little mean thing we were doing must have been part of the game lending a spice to the wooing but I don't care who's to blame when stars appear and shadows fall Why then you'll hear 
my sad heart call to you, my love, my life, my all. I surrender, dear, to you, my love, my life. My dear. At the guard orderly room, we met Warrant Officer Class 2 J. Earl Sutton, second in command of the guard, and he told us that his regiment was also providing men at the Merritt Rifle Range to handle the shooting events of the game, and he also told us something of the composition of the 1st Armoured Regiment. At present, their headquarters are at Puckapunyal, Victoria. Originally, they were known as the 1st Armoured Car Squadron that was in Japan as part of the Occupation Force, and they were equipped with Canadian Scout Cars and Staghound Armoured Cars. On return to Australia, they were renamed the 1st Armoured Regiment and were equipped with Churchill Tanks. These were later replaced by their present pride and joy, the Centurion. The regiment is divided into regimental headquarters and three fighting squadrons, A, B and C. They had 39 Centurions together with Ferret Scout Cars and Saracen Personal Carriers. But more about these later. Right now, for Sergeant Major Sutton, here is Bruce Clark with guitar and the sunny side of the streets. Thank you, Bruce Clark. Oh, incidentally, who said you don't get variety in the Army? Well, since 1949, Warrant Officer Sutton has served with the following sections of the Armoured Corps. The Victorian Mounted Rifles, 2nd Armoured Brigade, Prince of Wales Light Horse, South Australian Mounted Rifles, two National Service Battalions and the 1st Armoured Regiment as Squadron Sergeant Major of both A and C squadrons. <laughs> Not bad for ten years. Oh, and by the way, uh, he also went to England with the Australian Coronation Contingent. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll tell you more about the Armoured Corps in the later programme, especially about their equipment. But before we go, uh, we have time for one more number, I think, Laurie. Uh, Lance Corporal Ron Slade, the OC of A Squadron's driver signaller, would like just one of those things, so how about it?
Well, that's all in this edition of On Parade. <laughs> This is Jim Berenson saying cheerio until the same time next week when this program, produced by the Directorate of Public Relations of the Australian Army and recorded by AWA, is again on parade.